Yeah. I feel less of a big brother since mama lost a child. They told me hold my head up, but I just keep it down. Ain't no more smiles, all frowns when people come around. But that nigga who killed my brother, you know it's going down. I want revenge. He took my friend, one of my mama. What is good with y'all, man? It's your boy Vince from the TX, and I don't mean to flex, you feel me? What's up all my pimps? What's up all my players? What's up all the fine females out there and everybody else, man? This is not your ordinary video. Today, I will be teaching y'all how to use OBS Studios. Yes, sir, you heard it first, OBS Studios. I'm finna show you how all the famous YouTubers you like that do reactions, McQueen, um flight reacts cast nasty ddg everybody that you know that do reactions they either use this or they use Streamlabs. but i'm gonna show you the way with obs you feel me so stay tuned this is a tutorial i'll only be doing the basics so if you want to see like all the in-depth stuff how to uh set up like the pixels and all the other stuff that you gotta do and stuff but i'm just gonna show you all the basics how to do screen captures, how to put your camera on here, and all that. I'm gonna do all that. So, like, comment, subscribe in this video, man. Comment for some more videos. What else I should do? You feel me? But I'm gonna put y'all into the sauce, bro. I'm gonna give y'all the sauce. I'm gonna give y'all the game. On how to make reaction videos. All you need is two things, bro. You need a laptop and OBS Studios. That's it. That's it. That's all you need, bro. You really don't gotta edit too much, you feel me? If that's the case, you'll download OneDrive, bro. And you could download it from OneDrive. And then you have OneDrive on your phone. And you could download the video off your phone if you have a um an Apple phone, an iPhone, and then you go to OneDrive on your phone, and then you could download it, and then you could put it in uh iMovies. And like edit the beginning and the ends and put your intro and your outro in. And that's basically it, bro. Three things. An iPhone, a laptop, and OBS Studios, and OneDrive. Well, that's four things. But really, if you're just looking to do it like this, all you need is a laptop and OBS Studios, bro. So I'm putting y'all on game, bro. I'm telling you, I'm putting y'all on some sauce. So without further ado, I'm going to get into it, man. So look, this is the whole setup right here. You feel me? So all you really need is... So look, wait, I'm going to show y'all how to do it first. So even though, wait, will it take it out? Wait, no. Uh, I'm going to show y'all. So even though I already got it download, this is what you're going to do. So you're going to go to your Safari or Chrome. You got, you're going to go there. Go to the search bar. Type in OBS Studios. You feel me? You're going to type that in. And see, I already got it downloaded. So this was gonna look like you're gonna hit that first link up here, all right? So hit this first link right here. And whichever one you got, if you got Windows or you got a Mac, like you got an Apple computer, you'll hit this. If not, you'll hit Windows. And basically, you don't really need none of this. That's basically showing you that. But after you do that, it'll send you through like a whole process, you feel me? Hit everything that says download. If it says, would you like to let this um take over or something like that, hit yes. So you want to keep hitting yes all the way through. And then after that, it'll come up. It'll come up right here, you feel me? And all I did was I just put it down here so it's easier. So like when I'm uh recording, I could just go straight over to the web browser, you feel me? So that's easier. This you can actually delete that. I don't really... You don't really have to keep this out there. So delete that because he is still down here because I put it in the uh, taskbar. So basically, man, that's how you get it downloaded. So when you first come up here, which one is it? Is it file? Nice. No, edit. Advanced auto properties. I right, don't need that. But anyways, man. So when you do that, you're basically it's going to pop up. Like after is that like after that's done, it's gonna pop up, and you can either do it for YouTube, Twitch, or some other things. I forgot, but it's like YouTube, Twitch, or whatever. And then you just wanna click which one you're using it for. So if you're using Twitch, click on Twitch. Using YouTube, click on YouTube. You feel me? And then it'll take you through. And I think it'll ask you to copy like your link or like it's like a number or something. So you can actually go find that on your uh thing, like on your Twitch or your YouTube. 
and then you'll type that into the bar and it'll connect to your channel you feel me so then after that basically all you gotta do is um i'm gonna show y'all how to put this up so how to put your camera up right here so how to put your camera up right here this right here so basically you're gonna go to add right here you feel me and then you're gonna go to video capture device this right here so you you just hit video capture device and then you can put in whatever name you want for it i just keep it on what it's already at because ain't no ain't no point in making it like that and then you're gonna hit okay oh i already got it wait let me let me do this i already got it on there so i'm gonna take it off let me take it off yeah so i took it off right so y'all can't y'all can't see me no more so this is what you're gonna do put this you're gonna hit the plus you see me right here in sources you're gonna hit the plus and then you're gonna come over to video capture device the one with the camera you're gonna come right here and then you're gonna go to right here it's gonna already be on there so hit okay and boom you're gonna pop up right here you feel me now if you got like a camera or anything like you got a separate camera that you want to use you you plug it into your um to your laptop and then you're going to go here and it should all your camera options should pop up right here so all i got is the hp camera on the laptop so that's what i'd be using so basically it's already going to be on default so you just hit that now this right this down here i'm not going to get into this yet so if y'all want another video on this, I do like all the um like what you want to put all this stuff on, but I'm just going to show y'all the basics. So like that's basically it. So um this is for the camera. See, you would put this in custom. You'll put this in custom. And then you could do all that, but I'm not going to do all that right now. If y'all want another video, drop a comment below and I'll do that video on how to do all that. So just add the camera in boom you see add that in and you can move it over you can make it as big as you want you feel me you can make me bigger you feel me all across the screen it don't matter or you can small it up medium large you feel me but i started making my videos like this so y'all could see me more instead of like being um like super small because like y'all want to see my reaction my reaction was like my reaction was like this small so like it's not like y'all can really see me so i just started decided to make it bigger you feel me but uh y'all saw how i got this display capture right this is what that pops up in here so basically this the display capture look i'm gonna show y'all so i'm gonna go right here i'm gonna wind this out so you see i'm not on the app no more right you see i'm not on obs studios and i'm down here in this corner right here that's the display capture that's the display capture. You feel me? So uh, all you do is exit out of that, and that's how you do that. So I'm gonna show you how to put that on there. It's the same way how you put the video capture device on there. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I'm gonna remove this, take this off, and feel me. This whole background is gone because it was showing what's on my laptop. So you can see the cursor and all that. So that's how you do that. So you're gonna go right back to the plus sign. And you're gonna go to um display capture and then you're gonna go to okay and boom i think you might have different options on here so like i said you might have different options on here i think it's like it depends on whatever you add like whatever else equipment that you have but this is all i got so this is on the laptop if you have like another monitor you could choose that monitor so it'll show that monitor you feel me but all i got is the laptop so you're gonna hit that okay and then um I put this right here so boom now i'm back on there so that's basically it guys so this this your best friend right here so you can also go here and then if you're um you're doing like games you can go to game capture you want to put an image on here go to image slideshow media source if you want to put a text on here all that so that's the basics so this right here this is your desktop audio so when you're playing a video you're gonna to want to use this, like I'll show y'all. We're gonna go over here, widen that out. Let's go to YouTube. Um, we'll just go to my videos. I went to the wrong thing. We'll go to my videos. 
You know what I'm saying? 82 subs, road to 100, you feel me? But we go to one of my videos. We'll just play one of these. I feel less of a brother since mama lost a child. They told me hold my head up, but I just keep it down. So that's no basically it, bro. That's how you do that. So I'm going to show y'all how, like, all this right here. You're going to go to settings. Oh, yeah. You're going to go to this settings over here. And you go to settings. And then you go to output. No, not output. You go to audio. And basically, your desktop audio will be. You can put it on default because it's going to come from the laptop. You feel me? Or you could go to default or you can go to the speaker. But I just use default. So, and then the mic slash arc auxiliary core audio whatever whatever that say you go to your headset so this is what you're gonna be talking through you feel me so i got my gaming headset you plug it in and that's what you're gonna be using to talk so on your audio make sure you put headset microphone or whatever whatever you're using if you got like a mic that you use like you know like the individual mics plug that in and then you could select that one and then on desktop audio make sure you use default or speaker it don't matter which one because default is basically going to use the speaker anyways off the laptop. And then you can either just use speaker, but it don't really matter which one you use. So that's that. I'm not going to get into all this right here. You feel me? That's for a later video. I'm not going to get into that. Advanced. I'm not going to get into that. Output. I won't get into that yet. General. Um, Stream. See, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Uh -oh. <coughs> <coughs> oh my god my fault y'all but this is what i'm talking about when you first download obs studios and you launch it it'll open up to this so then You'll select which one you're doing it for. So you got Twitch, you got YouTube, Mixer, Facebook Live, Restream, Twitter, all that. So of course I do YouTube. So I clicked on YouTube. Primary be YouTube. And then your stream key. That's what you're gonna need to connect your account. <clears throat> and then you can find that on your YouTube, you feel me? So that's that. And basically that's it like it's not really that hard you feel me you really don't need two things obs studios and a laptop or if you have a monitor you can do this on a monitor too but make sure you have a camera for your monitor you feel me so you can put your video capture on there make sure you have a camera and really bro that's really about it you feel me so this is desktop audio this is for like the music like when you go on youtube or any other apps so they can hear what's playing this is your mic audio you feel me you can bring this up or you can bring this up. Feel me? Either way. So that's that. You can stream. You feel me? You can stream. So if you hit start streaming, it'll go straight to like your page or whatever and it'll start streaming. You feel me? So like somebody can go to your YouTube and watch you stream. Or you can go to recording like I'm doing right here. And that's basically it, man. Scenes, you really don't need scenes, to be honest. I'm not, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. You really don't need scenes for reactions. But this is basically it, man. This is all the other stuff that you can use. You don't really need to put any of this on here unless you're, like, doing it for anything else than reactions. But this is for reactions. I'm showing y'all how I do my reactions and just how I'm putting y'all in the sauce game, bro. I'm showing y'all how to do this stuff, man. So, really, that's it, man. And you can go back over here. Go to YouTube. And you can get to reacting, bro. You can click on anything. Click on any video. You feel me? You type something in. Like, whatever. No matter what. You want to react to a song. Let me see. You want to react to a, to a song or anything? I'm just going to my history. Yeah. 42 Doug is gay, guys. See, I learned all this by watching. Like, I learned this all by watching other people do it. You feel me? So... If y'all want to know more about this, drop a comment, bro. Let me know what else y'all want to know about. And I got y'all. See, look. You feel me? I'm not going to listen to that. So, boom. This was Set just this part up. of an experiment.
put this some right pictures there. Up online. Y'all can Got hear the music in the background. This is pain. So that's actually it, man. Sit here chilling, react. That's actually it, bro. On God, no cap. On God, no cap. On God, on God, no cap.